In today's Sharp Saturday video, I'm very excited to be able to bring to you what I think is the original and number one selling tactical knife of all time, the Emerson CQC-7. That's what's coming up next here on Survival On Purpose. Welcome back to Survival On Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So the folks at Emerson Knives were kind enough to send me one of their Emerson CQC-7 Wave Knives. And um, as I said, I believe this knife is the original tactical knife. Uh, Ernest Emerson started making knives in his garage in 1979. And since that time, his knives have become a, a, a favorite and, and trusted knife for people who are going into harm's way both military and law enforcement all over the world these knives have been carried into battle by SEAL team personnel by Delta Force by Army Rangers by Army Special Forces by, by US Marines by the CIA special teams um, by the SAS um, just a lot a lot of people whose lives are on the line trust their lives to Emerson knives in fact a CQC 7 just like this one that was carried during the raid that killed o Osama bin Laden was recently sold in an auction for over thirty five thousand dollars making it the most expensive production knife ever ever sold I believe so anyway um, this knife's got some really cool features I thought were cool I think you're gonna like them so anyway we're gonna take a closer look at this knife coming up right after this word from one of our sponsors. This video is sponsored by Hog Holsters, the concealed carry holster I wear every single day. And I'm proud to call John Abbott of Hog Holsters not only one of my sponsors, but one of my very best friends. John still makes every holster individually by hand with the kind of craftsmanship that is rarely found in this day and time. And the viewers of this channel can save 10% on any purchase at Hog Holsters over $30 by using the coupon code Survival on Purpose, all one word. So I encourage you to check out Hog Holsters. I don't think you'll be disappointed. That's Hog Holsters helping Americans wear guns. Okay, we're back. So I can't wait any longer. Let's get down to the old stump top and get to doing some of that knife stuff. Okay, here is the Emerson CQC-7 BW. And as I said, I think this is the knife that actually started the tactical knife category. So let's just talk about the specs of this thing and then we'll get to doing some knife stuff. So this knife features a 3.3 inch long, 1 8 inch thick chisel ground Tonto style blade of stonewashed 154 CM. So you can see the, uh, it's all, the, all the grinding is on one side, the other side is flat. There's a reason for that, we'll talk about that in a minute. It features a G10 handle with a stainless steel liner on one side and a titanium liner lock. And the overall length of this knife is eight inches and it weighs five ounces. It has a lanyard hole, an open design with standoff spacers, a little bit of jimping here on the liners and also on the blade here, just a little bit on the back of the blade. So you can just give you a little bit of a purchase there. A bit of jimping on the front, also on the lock. Then it has a tip-up pocket carry. So and this knife features the wave fe opening feature. And I'll show you that in a minute. It's really, really cool. Something I like about this knife, if you notice all the fasteners, these are standard Phillips head fasteners everywhere. So you don't need any special tools to, to, to uh, keep this knife maintained if you need it. If you need to do anything to it. You don't need any special tools. And then even the pivot screw is just a straight up flathead. So you could do that with a dime if you need to, if you need to adjust that pivot. The thumb stud wheel is also fastened with a Phillips head. No special tools needed. I think that's cool. And then the uh, chisel grind, the reason they do that is because it just makes it easier to sharpen in the field. Um, it's easier to keep that edge. You don't have to worry about two different angles. It makes it easier, easier for people in the field to keep it sharp. And then this Tonto blade, is a very, very tried and true design, very strong, very stabby and pokey and cutty. So, uh, and this life is also available with uh, optional serrations on it. So there's that. So let's do a little cutting stuff and then um, we'll uh, check out the wave feature and we'll wrap this up. Oh, by the way, did I mention that this is 100% made in the USA? I don't think I did, but if I didn't, shame on me. 100% made in the USA, which is pretty cool. These are very very nice knives and you can see that opens very well with the thumb stud 
um, or you can use the wave feature and I'll show you that in a minute or you can just do it like that if you want to so anyway let's do a little knife stuff so first of all I can tell you that the first thing that happened when I got this knife was I cut my finger so <laughs> it's sharp we'll just do the paper test because you know we need to right man how about some wood you want to do some wood let's do some wood Here's a little piece of wood. We'll just try some feathers with this to see how well this chisel grind works. Because I know there's going to be people say, that's kind of weird. I've never seen a chisel. Why would you do a chisel grind? Uh, so let's just see how well it works. What do you think not too bad it's actually kind of like you just once you get used to it it's kind of like using a uh, scandy grind but if you just look at it, it's got a, it's got this it's got the, the main grind here and the little secondary bevel there so really that's what you need to worry about sharpening is all that little secondary bevel so it's kind of like a mini mini scandy pretty cool it does not have a sharp spine so I don't think we're gonna be stri striking a ferro rod with it but that's not what it's designed for by the way that if you see that lock is extremely extremely tough i mean you gotta it's a very very solid solid lockup you see, you just watch, see the line like it comes over very solid and it's got some tension on it. it is titanium you have to really you have to push it and it clicks over because it's, it's it's very 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 secure hey you know what we could do we could uh shave a little fat wood why not right let's try the, using the tanto part for the fat wood since we haven't done that yet Can you smell that? Gosh, it smells so good. Smell it. Yeah, man. So if you did need to start a fire, you could definitely get the fire prep done with a knife. And then if you are truly prepared, you're going to have a lighter. Look at the fat wood go, baby. Oh, man. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Okay, so I said I was going to show you the wave feature, and this wave feature is this little little thing right here, and this is an Ernest Emerson patented feature, and I think they licensed this to a lot of different manufacturers, but they are the designers and originators of this wave feature. So the way it works is this little wave hook here, when you pull it out, it's going to catch on your pocket like so, and it's going to open when you pull it out. So it takes a little bit of practice to get used to doing it, but basically it's open faster than an automatic faster than anything because as long as you just drag it on the side of your pocket when you pull it out it's open ready to go that is just stinking slick man okay so that was a hopefully not too rambling an initial look at the emerson cqc 7 wave knife this knife is going to be my everyday carry for a while now. We're going to put it through its paces. I'll probably do a follow-up at some point in the future after I've had a chance just to use this thing for a while. But I wanted to go ahead and show it to you because um, I, I really think it is, it is like I said, it, it's the pinnacle, in my opinion, of a tactical folder. This is the one that started it all off. This is the one that, that, is, that has been trusted by I don't know how many people that put themselves in harm's way for you and I. And... If, if it's good enough for, for them, it's, it's, it's definitely good enough for me. Also, I really like the fact this is 100% made in the USA. Now, it's not a super cheap knife. This knife is about 205 bucks on Emerson's website, about 186 bucks on Blade HQ. And if you want to uh, to get uh, like a left hand tapping and drilling, you probably need to order from Emerson. That's going to be a, another another 25 bucks or so. They'll they'll drill it and tap it so you can swap this 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 the uh, clip around to a left hand. You can get it with serrations. You can probably find it with serrations on, on online stores. But either way, 
Um, it's not a cheap knife, but it's definitely well, well made. It's, it's, it's built for tough use, so you don't have to baby it. Features Emerson's limits of lifetime warranty. As long as you don't just abuse it, they're going to warranty it. Features this really cool wave feature, uh, or you can flip it open. Um, you know, it's got the uh, standard fasteners, the very easy to sharpen chisel grind. I'll quit gushing like a fanboy. I just tell you that I really like this knife a lot. Like I said, I just got this, but I got a feeling this is going to be one of my favorite knives ever. And, and I will follow up and let you know if my prediction comes true um, at some point in, in the future. So I'll put a link in the video description below both two Emerson knives so you can check out the, their other stuff and you can also maybe if you want some custom features on this and to a Blade HQ where you can where you can get one and save a couple of bucks. So anyway once again thanks to the folks at Emerson Knives for sending me this so I could show it to you and so I could test it and as always thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a new video every Friday and Saturday sometimes random videos throughout the week. If you want to make sure you don't miss a single one I'd invite you to go to survivalonpurpose.com forward slash subscribe and sign up for my weekly email newsletter. Every week I'll send you an email with links to the previous week's videos plus any news, offers, or deals I think you might be interested in, and occasionally we'll do some special stuff just for the subscribers. So I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.